Hey guys, Dave McKinnon here, Product Development Director for Wires. Today we're going to talk about interconnects and noise. Nobody that installs a car audio system ever wants to have to think about noise, but it's a reality of the business. We pick up noise from ground loops, noisy alternators, ignition systems, body control modules, lighting modules, ABS controllers, all sorts of things can inject noise into our audio system. Wires spent a great deal of time and effort into designing our interconnects to not only sound great, but to be the best we could make them in terms of rejecting noise and keeping your audio system as quiet as could be when there's no music playing. Today we're going to do a bit of a comparison between a bunch of different interconnect cables and we're going to demonstrate to you how we did our testing during the development process to make sure that our interconnects are as quiet as could be. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that we're going to move our recording microphone out in front of this speaker, we're going to tape it to the table. The reason for this is I want the level, the audio level, of the noise that you hear, the noise picked up by the interconnect, sent to the amplifier, amplified and sent to the speaker. I want it to be the noise that's picked up by the interconnect. No changes in levels, no tricks, no games. This is really important to me because we want you guys to understand the different performances of these interconnects. Hey guys, okay, we're going to start off with the F3 Street Interconnect, okay? You like the lovely blue glow of my neon sign? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this interconnect, I'm going to plug the left channel into the left channel of this amplifier. And if you can still hear me, I'm going to bring this interconnect close to our neon sign. That's the F3 Interconnect. Hey guys, now we're going to test the Raptor interconnect. So again, I'm going to take the, well, the blue channel, pop it into our amplifier. And that's how that interconnect performs. Next up is the interconnect from PowerPro. So we'll take the black channel, pop it in. does for you. Next we have iConnects. On this one we'll take the kind of blue channel, whatever that is. iConnects. And finally we get to the Wires Tech Series. So we'll take the red channel, pop it into the amp, works pretty good. Now we're going to look at some slightly higher end cables. We're going to start off with the Audison Connection ST2 series. Then we'll take the black channel here, pop it in. Not too bad, but it's a pretty expensive cable. Next up we have the JL Audio ECS series. We'll do the black end on here. I guess their claim to have a Teflon insulator is only good if you want to make pancakes. Up next we have a Streetwire Zero Noise ZN7. We'll use the red end for no particular reason. And that's what zero noise sounds like. Finally, we've got the wires signature series. So we use the white end, connect it up to the end there. And that's what an interconnect should do. If you're a bit of an audio enthusiast and maybe an internet geek, you've probably looked up interconnect recipes. An interconnect recipe is basically just instructions on how to make your own interconnects. I've seen these for decades and decades. Home audio guys love doing them, making interconnects out of Cat5 cable or braiding silver wire together. 
what we did just to show you that the design or the geometry of the wire itself isn't what prevents noise from getting in your system is we went out to the local electronics store bought a bunch of interconnect ends and we've made up four different interconnects the first one we just use wires tech series 18 gauge speaker wire so this is just two wires side by side this one is wires uh, this is our own uh, remote wire so this is just a gently twisted pair you can see it's not too many twists per inch it's just about one we did a tightly twisted pair and then just for fun just to see if it had any effect at all we did a braided interconnect so there's two grounds and then the red is the signal so we're going to try those out and see how they perform so for the first of our home brewed interconnects we're just going to use the one made out of 18 gauge speaker wire so we'll plug this sucker in. And hear lots of noise. Next up in our homebrew interconnect tests is the gently twisted pair. Works exactly the same as the speaker wire. Second from last, we have the tightly twisted pair. Same. And last but not least in the set of homebrew interconnects is the braided triple wire creation. Same thing again. As you can see, building your own interconnects or buying poorly designed interconnects is not going to do you any good in keeping radiated noise out of your system. Wires doesn't care what brand of amplifier, processor, or source unit, or even speaker you use. We want whatever it is to sound as good as it can. Wires has spent a lot of time designing our noise rejection systems. Our dual drain system and our metalized nylon foil shield are just two of these technologies. Our goal is to make your electronics sound as good as they can. If you're interested in finding out more information about our interconnect cables or a dealer in your area, please visit our website at www.gotwires.com or join our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash gotwires and our new YouTube channel at youtube.com slash gotwires.com. That's all spelt out, D-O-T-C-O-M. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.